This video is about the Telewave Model 44 watt meter. What we have here is a Telewave uh, watt meter in its case. This is the case. And uh, inside we have the watt meter and a booklet. The booklet here uh, gives you the details of how to use this uh, device. We have a Model 44AP which means it not only has the input and output here, but also a tap off at about 40 dB down to go to a spectrum analyzer or modulation meter, whatever you uh, need for uh, monitoring uh, modulation, for example. So uh, that comes with it. And uh, it, it has all the details. We'll, we'll be looking at some of this uh, in a minute. We'll take this out. This is uh, padded in here, so you can uh, uh, be assured that this thing is in a fairly protected mode when you're using it there. All right, so this is the meter, and it has various scales here, which we'll dis discuss. It has switch for reverse, forward, off, um, and then this switch does 500, 150, 50, 15, and 5 watts full scale. And the scales are on here, and we'll go into details on that. On the back, we also have uh, charts here. We have a Viswar chart. The Viswar chart uh, is forward power versus uh, reverse power. And you can find the standing wave using that chart. And that's on there permanently. This is also their calibration factor. So at various frequencies, uh, this just, just has one directional coupler in it. At various frequencies, it's been calibrated uh, so we know what the factor is to get the exact um, power level. And we'll go into that in some detail as well. As you can see, we have a 500 watt scale on the meter. And then just below that is a 150 watt scale. And the next scale down, we have 50 watts. And of course, we also have a 15 watt scale for um, the low power devices. And then for your HDs and so forth, we have a full uh, scale 5 watt. So you need to pick the one that you need. On the back of the unit, there's a Viswar chart and also in the manual. And on this, uh, say you have uh, 100 watts forward power and you have 2 watts reverse power, you can follow the lines and determine what the Viswar is. If we want to take a power measurement at 43 megahertz, that gives us on the a line here 12%. So 1.12 is what you multiply by. And here we have the uh, 43 megahertz. We get 275 watts on the meter. The correction factor is 12% or 1.12, which gives us 308 watts. And that's plus or minus 6% uh, of the full scale indication. Here we have some other common power correction factors. 24 megahertz ham band, 27 megahertz CV band, 28 megahertz ham band, the 30 to 50 megahertz public service and ham radio bands, and uh, the uh, FM broadcast band from 88 to 108. And of course you can go anywhere on the curve to get any other that you need. While you can calibrate this uh, unit using the following diagram on the bottom, uh, you need a good calibrated inline power attenuator and a uh, power sensor that's also calibrated in order to do this correctly. We recommend that you actually send it to the factory for any calibration needs. Um, we do give you the diagram of where the various resistors and so forth are to make these calibrations. And as you see on the PC board there, there's also uh, indication of uh, what power range you're dealing with. But again, uh, it would be preferable to have our calibrated system at the lab um, in Telewave do this for you. Uh, and you can contact a factory for calibration requirements. I've got a test set up here to measure power using the watt meter. I have a dummy load, it's about a 100 watt dummy load, a 51 inch cable, which is correct for the frequency we're at. It was 146.76 over here. Here's a meter, it's set to forward power and it's set to 50 watts. Key it up and we get uh, about 26, no, 25 watts, about 25 watts, which is what this radio is set to at uh, 
has 10 watts, 25 watts, and 50 watts as its settings. So let's take a look at the uh, reverse power. Well, I just keyed up and nothing happened. Well, that's because the sending wave is very low because this dummy load has about a 1.2 to 1 or better standing wave. So let's go to the 5 watt scale to see if we can see anything at all. And in, even at that, uh, see, we see nothing at all to speak of. Might be a little flicker there. So we're not seeing any kind of a standing wave on this particular unit. Okay, I've got a new test set up here with two dummy loads in parallel with a T connector and a meter over there and of course the radio over here. I've zoomed in on the meter so you can see it a little better. We're on forward power and 50 watts as you can see by the uh, indicators here. And uh, We'll key this up and look at the third uh, scale down there, which is the 50 watt scale, and we're at the 37 and a half watts. Now we'll flip this over to reverse power. Leave it at 50 for the moment, see what happens. Well, we're down in the red. That means that it's in an area where you're not, uh, your accuracy is not that good. So we'll increase the, uh, we'll change it to the 5 watt scale. On the 5 watt scale, which is the bottom scale, you see that we have about 3.25 watts. Yeah, maybe even 3.3 watts. No, 3.25. Well, we're 37 and a half watts on the bottom scale there. And uh, 3.25 on the top scale. If you go up the uh, chart and across, you see that we're at uh, about 1.9 to 1, which is very close to 2 to 1. And of course, we do have cables in there and so forth, so that may make some difference. But uh, anyway, that's uh, how you determine the standing wave. In review, the specifications for this meter, the Model 44A or 44AP are as follows. 20 to 1000 megahertz, 5, 15, 50, 150, and 500 watts, full scale, 50 ohms nominal, 1.1 to 1 is the Viswar max for the uh, device, uh, sampling ports 40 dB down, plus or minus 2 dB for monitoring purposes, comes with a standard in female on each side, you can get UHF connectors, DIN connectors, TNCs, BNCs as options. Sampling for, uh, port is a uh, BNC. The meter accuracy is uh, plus or minus 6% if you use the correction factors. And above 150 megahertz, it's uh, plus or minus 6% overall.